Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, bath salts here. I wanted to do a quick build guide just to go over some builds that I like, just my thoughts on the occupations and the traits. I know when I first started playing, I had no idea what to build. I would typically just go unemployed just so I can get the eight free trade points. Um, but if you're new to the game and you have no idea what's going on, this might help you out a bit. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend going unemployed if you're new to the game, especially if you're not familiar with the traits. Um, I'll explain why that is. But basically, if you choose one of these set occupations, it gives you a nice breakdown of basically any type of XP buffs you'll get towards skills, right? So, for example, with this fire officer, the big thing with it is we're going to get an extra 75% XP for leveling up our axe and sprinting. Now that's not necessarily the best thing, but that gives you an idea of you'll be able to level the axe and sprinting skill much faster. You're going to have a basically a 75% XP boost while you are playing the game and leveling up those skills. Um, there are certain occupations that I like better than, than others. Um, Fire Officer actually is pretty decent if you, w if you like playing with axes. Um, that's a great way to get your axe skill um, higher, you're going to be doing more damage, you'll kill zombies quicker. Um, it starts off with some pretty decent fitness, strength, um, but think about like the occupation as like your base. Um, and then you can add negative traits, which will basically give you more points to spend on positive traits. So, you know, for example, let's say we want to add cat size, right? We add trait. That puts us at negative two points to spend. So this has to be at at least zero. We actually cannot create this character if we have negative points to spend. So that's kind of how you're going to do this balancing act between the traits here. So, for example, we could take Clumsy for plus two points, add that, and now we're at zero points to spend, so we're, we're even. We could hit next and actually join the world with this character. Um, I'll go into like more depth about the traits too as we go through this, but by no means am I an expert at this game, I'm not a professional at this game, I'm just giving you my opinion on what I like, and just a basic idea of how the occupation and traits work. Um, so yeah, Fire Officer, plus one Axe, plus one Fitness, plus one Sprinting, plus one Strength, that's pretty solid. Um, anything that gives plus Fitness, plus Strength, that's good. Um, those are very hard to level up in game. The only way you're going to be able to level up strength and fitness for the most part is by doing exercising and it, it is it, it is extremely slow to level up. We're talking months of time in game to level it up. So the more you can max those things out in your character build, the stronger and better off you're going to be in my opinion. So fire officer isn't bad. Um, police officer, decent. Um, it's going to give you plus three aiming, plus one nimble, and plus two reloading. The big one for me here is anything that gives plus nimble is very good. Nimble is important because that's going to be your movement speed while you're in the combat stance. And I believe once you get to nimble three, you can actually backpedal and not have the zombies actually gain ground on you. And that's going to be one of the main ways you're going to be fighting with melee weapons. You're going to be backpedaling basically forming them into like a conga line and taking them out one at a time. So anything that's going to allow you to move faster while in the combat stance, aka nimble, is going to be really good because nimble is another one of those traits that's very hard to level up. You're not going to spend a day in game saying, oh, today I'm going to level my nimble. You're just going to do it more passively as you continue to play the game and it can be quite slow. You know, unless you want to try to, like, walk into a wall for, you know, two weeks in-game in the combat stance. I don't think anyone's actually going to do that, though. Having the 75% XP boost on Nimble via the police officer is nice. So, decent. Um, and maybe I'll make, like, a tier list video of the occupations. Uh, but for this video, we're just going to go through them pretty quick. A park ranger. Uh not too crazy about it it does allow you to move faster through forests and woodlands which can be handy if you're caught out and or have a horde on you and you need to you know break line of sight um, it does allow for faster movement um, plus one axe plus one carpentry 
the plus two foraging and plus two trapping, they're, in my opinion, they're just kind of worthless. Foraging and trapping are pretty easy to level up, and that foraging and trapping, the two levels that you're going to have there early on, they're not really going to make much of a difference. It's really not going to affect your gameplay. Carpentry, in my opinion, is also a very easy skill to level up as well, so even though that's nice, you can level up carpentry to 10 pretty quick without any XP buffs. Just read a skill book, you'll get, you're going to have life and living the first two weeks you can watch, and when you go to actually build your outer wall or your base, you're going to just rip through carpentry. It's usually one of the first skills I get to 10, so not a big fan of park ranger. Wouldn't recommend you go that route. Uh, carpentry, uh, rather construction worker, is going to give you plus one carpentry, plus three short blunt. If you know for a fact that you are going to use short blunt weapons, you could consider going construction worker. Um, you do have to take a negative trait with it here. That it, we have negative two points to spend. Again, we spoke about carpentry earlier, but plus three short blunt is going to give you plus 125 percent XP. So you're going to be able to level up your short blunt weapons very very quickly so if you love short blunt construction work is definitely a viable way to go um, security guard plus one light footed plus two sprinting and night owl not too crazy about that um, I guess the sprinting is kinda nice to be honest I don't do a lot of sprinting in my game um, you just make too much noise when you're running in my opinion, you're, you're just better off walking everywhere. Um, and if you need to go somewhere far, just click walk to, right click walk to, click where you want to go and speed up your game. You're going to save stamina, you're not going to get fatigued, you're not going to make a lot of noise, because this game is pretty brutal. And you have to realize that you're at the disadvantage. <laughs> there's, there's hordes out there. I mean, the game literally starts with this is how you die, so it's anticipating your death. Um, so you gotta really take a more stealthy approach at times, so you're not gonna be doing a lot of sprinting, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so th that I wouldn't recommend going Security Guard if it's your first playthrough. Some of the others we went over already are a little bit better, in my opinion. Um, carpenter, plus three Carpentry, plus one Short Blunt. Again, Carpentry, don't really care for the extra XP boost there, and only plus one to short blunt. I think you're better off going construction worker, in my opinion. Get the plus three short blunt and the plus one carpentry. So, if short blunt's your thing, go construction worker instead of carpenter. Burglar, in my opinion, probably, if not the best, one of the best starting occupations you can go with. Simply just because you can hotwire ve hot vehicles right off the bat. Being able to get a car on day one, barring, you know, you have gasoline, um, it's just a massive boost that's going to make your run a lot easier. Um, mechanics and electrical are pretty tough skills to level up. It's not like they're difficult, they're more of a nuisance, they're very tedious to level up. So being able to just skip all that and just being able to hotwire cars right away, this is one of the best ways you can start off, in my opinion. Also, the plus two light footed is, is great, plus two sneaking is great. We spoke about how um, that's going to allow you to be sneakier, stealthier around the map. That's just an added benefit. The big one, though, is the plus two nimble. That's going to be a 100% XP boost, and you're going to start off with nimble level two. So we talked about how important nimble was, and Burglar is going to level that up even faster for you. So definitely recommend going burglar it does have negative six points so you will have to take a negative trait but that is not the end of the world i'm going to show you my build that i'm using in my current hardcore playthrough right now and we've got a ton of negative traits on there so don't let that discourage you that you have to take a negative trait um i mean for example you could throw on slow healer there's your six points right there and I'll go over why, you know, why I would choose Slow Healer. You can do it a couple different ways, too. You could take Smoker and then something else that's less points, plus four on Smoker. But we'll go over uh, the actual traits in more detail in a little bit. Chef, um, plus three cooking, plus one maintenance, plus one short blade. The only thing I like about the cook is the maintenance 
and I guess if you like short blades, you'll have the 75% XP towards short blade XP and 75% to maintenance. Maintenance is great because that's going to be the durability of your weapons. Basically, how quickly is your weapon going to get broken down by using it? The higher you level up that maintenance skill, the longer you're going to be able to use your weapons before they break or you have to repair them. Um, you're going to kind of just level this up as you fight things, but having the 75% boost on that is really nice. Especially if you like to use spears. In my opinion, spears are one of the best weapons you can use in the game. The thing with spears, though, is that they break extremely quickly. So if you can get your maintenance leveled up higher, it's going to let those spears last even longer. So not the best starting occupation, but the short blade and maintenance are, are pretty nice. Starts off with a negative four, so you will have to add a negative uh, trait as well to get going on that one. Repairman. Repairman, um, I like Repairman a lot. I'm actually running like a version of Repairman in my playthrough I'm doing right now. Plus one carpentry, plus two maintenance, plus one short blunt. So I am a fan of short blunt weapons as my one-handed weapon. So for me, when the power goes out and I'm playing, I like to have a good one-handed short blunt and a flashlight. Um, especially when you're looting indoors. There are some times where it's pretty dark and you want to be able to see and you're not going to be able to use a two-handed weapon. And I like short blunt, um, so that's why I like repairman. And if you did not know, like, short blunt versus short blade, one of the big differences with that, when you're using a short blunt weapon or even a two-handed blunt weapon, you don't do any damage to the clothing that the zombies have on. So if there's, you know, you see a zombie, he's got gear on that you want, Ideally, you'd want to hit them with a blunt weapon. That way, you're not going to damage and rip up those clothes. Whereas with a bladed weapon, you're going to tear through the clothing durability and possibly just break it down completely. That's the difference there. But I do like Repairman a lot. Repairman's got a negative four points to spend. But with the build that I'm using, I'll show you how I built my Repairman. The plus two maintenance I love and the plus one short blunt I like a lot. That's just personal preference. Uh, farmer, I just would not go Farmer. Plus three farming is what you're getting, and then you're getting an extra two points to spend. Farming XP, leveling it up, is pretty much useless. I think at farming seven, you basically get to get a full report on the stages of your crops. That's really not going to be that beneficial. I would highly recommend going something else with that. Farming, very easy to level up. The 125% XP bonus really isn't going to matter, because the only way you get farming XP is by, ac by actually harvesting your crops. That's it. There's no other, you know, way of doing it. There's no tricks. You just got to harvest your crops. You're going to level that up pretty fast with books, life and living, etc. I would pass on farmer. Uh, fisherman, I'd probably pass on this as well. I, I don't even fish really in the game. I just, I really grow crops and I'll do some trapping. And plus you're going to have a ton of canned food. Um, fishing's nice. But I wouldn't recommend starting with this, especially if you're newer to the game. Plus three fishing, plus one foraging, they're just really not that great. There's some other ones we've gone over that I like better. Um, doctor, in my opinion, useless. Again, these ratings too, I'm giving you are for single player. They wouldn't really apply to multiplayer. The way I look at healing first aid skill in this, if I get bit, if I have a zombie attack me, I'm probably dead, right? Unless you get lucky with the rolls. You really almost have to play this game perfectly. And having plus three first aid, it, it just doesn't do anything for me. I don't really care if my injury takes one day to heal or one week to heal. Um, it just, I'm going to try not to get hit to begin with. So it's almost like looking at it as like a pessimist. Like, oh man, I'm going to get beat up this run. Let's make sure my first aid is good. Um, and when I first started playing, I used to go Doctor, and then I realized this is kind of pointless. You do get the plus one short blade, um, but, I mean, we went over up top. There's other classes you can take if you want that 75% short blade XP. Highly recommend skipping on Doctor. A uh, Veteran is actually pretty neat. It has the Desensitize perk. Basically, no matter the size of the horde that you're fighting, you will not get feared by it so you will not get anxious or panicked 
when you're panicked it reduces your accuracy and if you like to use guns you're gonna miss a lot of your shots the veteran perk is desensitized so you don't have any anxious debuffs while facing you can be facing a million zombies you're just desensitized to it hence the name of the trait. Uh, plus two aiming plus two reloading this is a very good class to go if you know I'm gonna use guns my whole run I prefer guns over melee weapons plus two aiming is super nice plus two reloading is kind of meh uh, you can it, you can easily level reloading just by grabbing a 20 round magazine and literally loading it and unloading it and you just spam that it's really boring to level up but pretty easy to level up so you're really taking veteran for the plus two aiming and the desensitized um, definitely a good one if you want to use guns a lot I hi highly recommend going veteran um, nurse right up there with doctor I'm not gonna spend too much time on this plus two first aid plus one light-footed and two points to spend skip it just don't don't waste your time with that um, lumberjack allows slightly faster movement through forests and woodlands kind of similar to the um, park ranger that we mentioned earlier um, actually pretty good I would I would recommend going lumberjack especially if you like to use axes or maybe you're starting rosewood and you know you're gonna make your base at the fire department you're gonna get those early game axes online pretty quick plus two axe plus one strength and axe man is really good to have um, you'll you'll do really well you're gonna do, be doing a lot of damage with your axes um, and it, it's actually all ready to go too if you're not comfortable adding any type of traits you can literally click lumberjack and then you're good to go press next and start playing the game so lumberjack definitely in the top uh, echelon for me as far as starting occupations highly recommend that one uh, fitness instructor plus three fitness plus two sprinting also a good choice um, as I mentioned earlier anything that gives you strength or fitness is is, is amazing and the fact that you're gonna start off with an additional plus three fitness is awesome um, the sprinting is also kinda nice but uh, you'll have a hundred percent XP boost to sprinting um, very very good because we mentioned how difficult and tedious and long it takes to level fitness um, and strength so definitely not a bad one um, it does start with negative six so you're going to have to take a negative trait to start with that one but overall I like fitness instructor um, burger flipper plus two cooking plus one maintenance plus one short blade with two points in your favor so you can add a add a trade I like burger flipper I, it's really not too bad um, cooking it's not really that important um, takes a lot of time but relatively easy to level up even when you get it to higher levels it's not really that great it's basically going to allow you to cook rotted food um, you're gonna have to be pretty hard up if you're relying on cooking rotted food to survive I would hope you would never get to that point so again cooking is kind of a useless skill in my opinion but the plus one maintenance plus one short blade are nice we spoke about the maintenance with the durability and if you like to use short blades you can consider going burger flipper and add those two points to any other positive trait you like for two points um, electrician plus three are electrical um, as I mentioned with mechanics and electrical probably two of the worst uh, skills to level up I hate doing them maybe you guys don't mind it but I hate doing them starting off with the ability to operate generators is actually very nice I've had playthroughs where um, I just cannot find the how to use generators magazine and it gets really annoying but generally if you're being active around the map I would say typically you should find one in like your first 30 days so eventually that won't become a, a problem you'd have to be pretty unlucky to go months without being able to find a how to use generators magazine I'm sure there's probably people out there who have had that happen to them unfortunately um, the plus three electrical it's okay it's not anything great you really just want to level electrical to the point where you can hotwire cars um, you're still gonna have to level up mechanics here to be able to hotwire cars um, so not a big fan of it but if you've had problems finding the how to use generators magazine you could consider going electrician to start but it, I would say it's on the lower end for me um, engineer is pretty neat it allows you to actually make certain traps and explosives that are exclusive to the engineer I have personally never gone engineer 
I've seen some of the stuff that you can make with Engineer. It looks really cool. It's more of a want than a need, in my opinion. Um, or if you want to experience additional like content that's in the game with some of the things you can create. But plus one carpentry and plus one electrical. The electrical, I guess, is kind of nice. But as I mentioned, you're only getting a level or two in that. Basically, it's up to the point where you can hotwire a car. So engineer probably on the lower end for me. Um, metalworking. You can weld forged, uh, forged, foraged metal to create items and barricades, which is pretty neat. It's a neat perk. I've never gone metal worker. You do get plus three metal working. I don't usually use a lot of metal working. I'm usually doing much more carpentry than I am doing metal working. I would say carpentry is like your early to mid game building materials and metal working is your late game building materials. Um, so if you're new to the game, you're probably gonna really not gonna need metal working leveled up or the XP boost from metalworking. So I would probably say that's a pass for me. Um, not the worst, not the best, but probably on the lower end. And lastly, we've got mechanic. Plus three mechanics, plus one short blunt. Not bad. Um, you also get amateur mechanic, um, which is nice. So you're going to be able to do more installations, repairs to your vehicles, which is cool. Um, not the best, not the worst. I'd say it's mid-tier. And if you do like short blunt, you're getting the added 75% XP to short blunt, which is nice, and 125% to mechanics. So if you hate leveling mechanics, going mechanic is <laughs> a good way to help uh, mitigate having to go through that grind. Um, yeah, so that's a rundown of the occupations. If you listen to all that and you're still unsure, just go burglar. That would be my recommendation. Um, can't go wrong with burglar. Um, going over traits. There are a lot of traits here, and remember, uh, let's say you decide you want to go burglar. We've got to we've got to add traits. We have to add negative traits here to get this back to zero. Otherwise, we cannot create this character. I'll go over. I'm not going to go over line by line here on the traits. I'm just going to highlight a, a couple here. Um, I just recently on my build used speed demon. It's actually pretty nice if you get stuck in a horde. If you're stuck off road, having the ability to drive your car with faster acceleration it actually can get you out of a lot of tight spots and for just one point I would say it's worth it especially if you've got an extra point just laying around might as well just put it into speed demon um, cat size you're gonna get better vision at night uh, dexterous is uh, really more of like a want than a need it's gonna allow you to transfer your inventory items quicker I like it just because I hate waiting for things to be transferred I would never take fast reader. On the contrary, when we get to the negative traits, we're going to take slow reader. When you are playing single player, do not take fast reader. It is a complete waste of two points. You can just read the book and hit the fast forward button. Do not take fast reader. Um, outdoorsman is nice, especially if you are if you like to really bundle up your clothing for extra protections and your guy you know, heats up all the time. You're not going to be affected um, like in the summertime when it's hot. You're not going to be affected as much if you take outdoorsman. And same goes for winter. You're not going to be affected by the wind chill or super cold weather. So it's not bad for two points. Um, wakeful, you just need less sleep. Iron gut, I've never taken that. Less chance to have food illness, not worth it. Angler, plus one fishing, wouldn't take it. Baseball player is good if you're going to go baseball bat. Or any type of long uh, blunt weapon like crowbar for example might be worth taking that so you get the plus one long blunt and like for example if we add um, let's see baseball what did I just add I think I added smoker let me remove that um, baseball player we're gonna add that so yeah now you can see our long blunt has gone up to plus 75 percent which is neat so now we've got burglar Plus, we've got the additional XP bonus to Long Blunt from adding Baseball Player. Um, so yeah, if you like Long Blunt, you can take Baseball Player. Um, I've never taken Brave before. Getting panicked is not a big deal. Just carry beta blockers on you. Don't waste your points on it. First Aid, we talked about. Not a fan of it. Don't take First Aider. Uh, Gardener, just don't take it. You don't need the farming. Uh, never taken Graceful before. Um, inconspicuous less likely to be spotted by zombies. If you're trying to do like some super duper stealth playthrough, you can consider taking that. 
Um, we are getting into the more expensive perks now too. These are four points where when we started with Speed Demon it was one. So they're going to keep sounding better and better as I go through them. But understand you're going to have to take some neg negative traits here most likely to offset some of these better skills. Um, Lucky just is going to give you better loot rolls. Um, that's up to you. Um, I, I won't say it's bad or good. It's just a preference. Um, Light Eater I would never take. Need to eat uh, less regularly. Not a big deal. I never have issues with food in the game. If you do, maybe consider it. But yeah, not, not crazy about that. Um, nutritionist, just skip it. Um, resilient, less pl uh, prone to disease. Slower rate of zombification. Kind of goes in with the same ideology that I have with first aid. If you're bit and you're infected, what does it matter if you turn into a zombie in the next 10 minutes or at the end of the week? If Especially if you're playing hardcore single player, the run's over. <laughs> the run's over at that point. I will do hardcore runs. I won't, I won't take it. Um, I still wouldn't even recommend taking it if you're running multiple characters in the same world. For four points, you can invest that in much better spots than slowing down your zombification. Um, runner plus one sprinting, personally, I'd say skip. Uh, plus one tailoring with sower, it's not worth the four points in my opinion, I'd say skip. Uh, amateur mechanic has detailed knowledge of common and commercial vehicle models and repairs. You can find these magazines out in the world that will allow you to work on these different types of cars. Um, it does give plus one mechanics, so if you hate leveling it and you want to max it out and get through it as fast as possible, you will get that 75% XP boost. Personally, I'd say skip. Gymnast. Love Gymnast. I love Gymnast because of the plus one nimble. Anything that's going to allow me to level up nimble faster, sign me up. Highly, highly, highly recommend Gymnast. Think about taking that for five. Uh, Brawler for six points. Yeah, if you like Axe or Long Blunt, definitely consider taking it. Definitely a, a solid perk. Cook, skip it. Uh, Eagle-Eyed, faster visibility fade, higher visibility arc. I would say skip on that. Fast healer, if you don't want to deal with having a cut last for multiple days, you can consider it. But again, my whole philosophy on first aid is don't get cut, don't get bit. Try not to get hit, because most likely you're going to get infected, you're going to turn into a zombie, you're going to die anyway. I would say skip fast healer. I typically always take Fast Learner. Increased XP gains is amazing in my opinion. Probably one of the top uh, positive traits you can take. Highly recommend Fast Learner. Uh, Fit, another great perk. We mentioned many times already. Anything that gives XP boost to fitness, strength, or just straight up gives you levels into it is amazing because exercising is horrible in this game. It takes forever. Usually we'll always take Fit. Um, for former scout, I would skip. Uh, herbalist, you can find a magazine out in the world that gives you this perk. Skip. Uh, hiker, skip it. Keen hearing, skip it. Low thirst, skip. Don't don't even think about it. We're actually going to do the complete opposite when we get to the negative traits. Um, organized, increased container inventory capacity. If you struggle with inventory capacity, and you've got points to spend. Six points, in my opinion, is a little pricey, but you can consider going organized. Um, stout is actually really neat. Extra knockback from melee weapons, increased carrying weight, and plus two strength. One of my favorite things to go, um, if, you, if you're if you struggling with points, right, you can go stout. I will usually go strong, though. So this is the lesser version of strong. So if you can't fit strong into your build, go stout. Um, adren adrenaline Junkie, move faster when highly panicked, skip it. Handy, faster and stronger constructions, I'd say skip, not worth it. It does give the plus one maintenance, but we're talking about eight points here. Not worth it in my opinion, there's some better things we can put our points to. Hunter, eight points, plus one aiming, plus one short blade, plus one sneaking, plus one trapping. In my opinion, you're spending eight points for plus one aiming and plus one short blade little too rich for my blood I'd say skipped uh, thick skinned another eight points less chance of scratches or bites breaking the skin if you're super worried maybe it's your first couple of hardcore playthroughs you want to give yourself a better chance if you make a mistake that you don't get an infection 
you could spend eight points on thick skin once you get more comfortable in the game i would recommend not taking this and actually going the complete opposite and we'll go over that when we get to the uh, negative traits um love athletic these last two i try to fit on every build athletic and strong plus four fitness faster running speed and can run for longer without tiring huge huge one of the most common ways i will die is when my guy gets gassed he's fatigued and i get stranded out with a horde on me and i just can't break line of sight athletic is going to allow me to do the things i want to do in the world longer you can fit it fit it it's pretty much mandatory both athletic and strong for my builds it goes in every one of them strong is going to give you that increased version of stout which is the plus four strength extra knot back from melee and more inventory space i am a hoarder personally i need as much inventory space as possible so strong and athletic you best believe are going on every build now even though we might have heard some things in here that were great you want to add them to your build you're going to have to put some negative traits in there to fit the stuff you want so what are some ones that i would recommend and not recommend this right here is a trap this sunday driver for one point do not take this it is horrible we mentioned earlier with uh, speed demon up top that it's good to take this for one point because you will come to a, a point in your run where you either crash your car get stuck off road or are surrounded by a horde of zombies and you need to get out of dodge Sunday driver is going to lower your acceleration to a point where you're just gonna be stuck your car is not gonna be able to get out you're gonna be overrun and you're gonna die do not take this um, all thumbs transfers inventory items slowly I mentioned I usually take dextrous this is the opposite of that I like being able to transfer quickly if you don't care about how long it takes to do things to transfer things in and out by all means get the get the two points take it clumsy makes more noise while moving really depends on your playthrough if you're playing a stealth playthrough you're obviously not going to take this if you're pretty confident in your battling abilities and you don't care you're never even going to hit the c button to crouch and sneak anywhere that's i guess you can think of it as a free two points to you you're going to be fighting all the time anyway who cares about being stealthy um cowardly i wouldn't re really recommend taking this um you're especially prone to becoming panicked unless you want to just start hoarding beta blockers and popping them constantly which can be a little annoying yeah i guess you could take it but i wouldn't recommend taking that uh, short-sighted this is a good one i usually take this on my builds uh, for two points smaller view distance slower visibility fade the reason i take short-sighted is because if you find reading glasses out in the world you can negate that that negative effect there so i like it uh, slow reader i pretty much always take slow reader we mentioned earlier when you're reading your book just fast forward your game <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's going to take you 12 hours or the full day there is no rush in project zomboid you're not racing against the clock if you need to take three days to read uh, volume five of a book just do it just get it done um, take slow reader in my opinion free two points um, weak stomach i know people that do take this personally i'm a little superstitious I, I i wouldn't consider myself that lucky either when i'm doing a hardcore run i don't want to risk the chance of you know getting a foodborne illness because i accidentally click on something that's undercooked or over you know what i'm saying like i accidentally eat rotted food and now i've got a illness that's going to kill me if you're playing more casual yeah not too bad you can definitely take it there's a bunch of people who do like to take the next two, agoraphobic and claustrophobic. Um, I personally don't play with them. It's just too much of a hassle for me, figuring out where am I going to live? All right, do I want to deal with anxiety constantly, whether it's indoors or outdoors? You do get four points for taking them. If you're new to the game, skip it. Don't take it. Um, conspicuous. This is something that goes into my builds. Um, you are more likely to be spotted by zombies. I, I really don't care if they see me. So give me the four points. Um, disorganized. Decreased container inventory capacity. I wouldn't recommend taking this. I usually find myself struggling with my inventory weight. Like I said earlier, I'm a hoarder. I would skip disorganized. Don't take that. Um, I do know some people that are crazy. They will play with hard of hearing or even deaf. I would never choose these. 
Um, the big thing about Project Zomboid is you don't have eyes in the back of your head. You cannot see behind you. A lot of the times I've been saved by audio cues. I hear them before I see them. If you're new to the game, highly dis uh, just don't do it. Highly uh, don't recommend doing this. Skip it. If you're more professional at the game, you've got thousands of hours played, I wouldn't be surprised if you take this or deaf. Me, personally, I skip. Hardy Appetite goes on every one of my builds. This is automatic free four points. We mentioned we don't usually have problems with food, so I have to eat a little bit more. No problem. It's one more can of food or whatever. I just have to eat. Take it. Uh, pacifist, less effective with weapons, never take it. Uh, prone to illness, more prone to disease, faster rate of zombification. I personally don't really like taking this. Have I taken it before? Yes. We kind of mentioned earlier, especially if you're doing a hardcore run, if you get bit, you're bit. Who cares if you transform in a day or a week? Um, so I understand that. I'm, I can go either way on this. If you need to get an extra four points, you can consider it. I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't say you must take it. It's kind of in the middle. Um, Sleepyhead, personally, I've never taken it. I kind of like to get my guy regimented on a normal sleep schedule. This is going to make you need to sleep more. I don't like anything that's going to require me to sleep more, drains my fitness faster. I would say skip it. Sm smoker, take it. Just take it. Free four points. You're going to find cigarettes everywhere in the world, and they weigh nothing. And you're going to find lighters and matches all over the place. The only time smoker is a real problem is like the first week. If you get unlucky and you just can't find any. But it's not going to kill you. You're just going to have to deal with the anxiety debuff. Um, you, you'll be fine. Just have some faith. Trust me on that one. Put smoker in your build. Um, unlucky, that really comes down to what you care as far as your loot quality. Um, it's just the opposite of the lucky trait. As, <laughs> as uh, obvious as that sounds. I don't, I skip, I just skip it. Um, asthmatic, skip it. Faster endurance loss, that's horrible. Fear of blood, you're basically going to start getting more anxious and panicked if you're bloody. Um, it is something you could take personally though, I would say skip it. Uh, feeble, it's negative two strength, skip it. High thirst, goes uh, hand in hand uh, with what we were talking about with hearty appetite. High thirst though gives you six points. Highly recommend it. Put it in your build. You might have to carry one more extra bottle. So instead of carrying two bottles of water, carry three. And your high thirst is taken care of. In my opinion, it's a free six points. Out of shape, minus two fitness, automatic skip. Overweight or underweight. Either one of these are good. I prefer underweight because in my opinion, it's a lot easier to gain weight in Project Zomboid than it is to lose weight. Um... I would go underweight, even though it gives you the minus one to fitness. You can get rid of some of that debuff by just pounding some food your first week and getting yourself somewhere between 75 and 85 pounds. That's the threshold you want to be in for a healthy weight in Project Zomboid. Um, I believe that's what it is. I know anything over 85 pounds will be overweight, and then anything over 100 pounds will be obese. You do want to pay attention to what your weight is in this game because... Again, fitness and strength extremely important. Your weight is going to directly affect your fitness. So if you are going to choose one of these, go underweight. In my opinion, it's a bit better. Um, restless sleeper, I would skip it. Um, it's going to just make you require more sleep, which I'm not cool with. Slow healer, take it. In my opinion, the way I play, we mentioned it many times with first aid. I don't care if it takes me a day or a week for my injury to heal. If my injury is going to uh, take me a week to heal, I'll stay in base, I'll read books, I'll level, I'll level my tailoring, I'm going to you know, build walls, whatever I have to do until it heals. Give me the six points on that. I would never take slow learner. Uh, on the contrary, I recommend taking fast learner. And just so you know too, it, you can't take like <laughs> fast learner and slow learner, they're just going to cancel themselves out. So it's got to be one or the other or not picking it at all. Um, illiterate, cannot read books, skip it. Uh, thin skin, this is something that I have been taking lately. You have an increased chance of scratches, lacerations, or bites breaking the skin. Um, I take it because I feel more comfortable with it now, and I usually level my character's tailoring pretty fast. So in my mind, I'm negating the effects of thin skin by upping my tailoring, and that's 8 points. So it is a lot of points that you're getting. 
Um, new player to the game, might want to skip it. Experienced player, I recommend taking it. Obese, um, 10 points. I wouldn't recommend it, minus 2 fitness. I, I, I kind of stick with underweight or overweight. I don't go into obese or very underweight. I would skip those. Unfit, skip it. Negative 4 fitness, you would never want to take that. And if you're a crazy person for 12 points, the game will uh, give you 12 points. If you go deaf, you will not hear anything. I do know players who play like this. Not my cup of tea. I'd say skip it. Um, so yeah, let's talk about just like a build that I'm running on my playthrough now. So this is my build. Looks like a lot. Hopefully though that we've went over this, you'll understand it a little bit better. We went repairman for plus one carpentry, plus two maintenance, plus one short blunt. This is the exact character that I'm running in my Let's Play Survivor Hardcore series right now. Um, we've got exactly zero points, so there's no extra uh, points left over. What does it look like? We've got a 75% XP boost to carpentry. Our fitness and strength are both very high. Plus 75 to light-footed, 100 to maintenance, 75 to nimble, 75 to short blunt, and you can see it's all the things that I mentioned I like. I like I like using short blunt. I like nimble XP. I like maintenance XP. Um, how did we get there? So as far as our negative perks, we took thin skin. So again, my philosophy: if I get bit, I'm probably gonna get infected anyway. I'm playing hardcore. One character, the run's over. Just give me thin skin. High thirst, hearty appetite. We went over those. Just add them. Slow healer, kind of like the same thing I just mentioned with thin skin. I took conspicuous on this character, just makes me more likely to be spotted. Again, I don't care if they see me or not. Smoker, throw it on your build. Short sighted, clear it with your glass, with your reading glasses. Slow reader, we don't care how long it takes for us to read our books. That gave us enough points to take. Speed demon, we're driving faster. Cat's eyes, better vision at night, which I like. Um, I have a, I'm very paranoid when I play this game. I need to be able to hear everything, and I anything that's going to let me see better at night, too, I like it. It's two points. It's not going to make or break you. You can add it or leave it. That's up to you. You might like something else up here for two points. Maybe you want to take Wakeful instead. Okay. Um, we've got Dextra, so we can transfer faster. Outdoorsman. Again, all these are tiny guys for two points here. Just less effect to weather because we do pack on a lot of clothes being that it's a hardcore playthrough. I try to max out my protections as quickly as possible so I typically am running hot so during the summertime this helps my character with that. Uh, gy gymnast we took, that's where we're getting our nimble XP. Fast learner, we're just getting increased XP across the board and then we round it out with the athletic and strong. So. This is definitely a build I would recommend. It's been playing out really well in my hardcore playthrough. I think we're in November right now. I like the way it's been playing. Um, not necessarily going to be my build every time I do a hardcore run, but this is just a solid build overall. You're getting a lot of good stuff, and the negatives that you're adding on to are definitely things that are all manageable. You can also take these traits. You can take the gist of this. And if you like a different occupation, you can add it on. Um, let me reset these traits and just go to Repairman. Repairman starts with negative four. Maybe you like Burglar, right? You can go Burglar. Um, and then add on those traits that I was just showing you I have on that, that certain build there. Um, and you're going to have negative six points. So you might have to tweak it a little bit because there's two points of a difference there. So you might, for example... You might have to get rid of Cat's Eyes, Dextrous, or Outdoorsman, but then you could go Burglar with this exact setup. So this is a build that I like. I wanted to just share it with you guys. If you're new to the game, or maybe you just never understood how the occupations and the traits all worked and what was good, what was bad. My opinion on this, again, by no means am I a master at this game. I just like playing it. This works for me. Um, and yeah, hopefully this helps you out a little bit. If you guys like this video, let me know. If you guys want me to do a tier list, let me know. I'm down for a tier list. Um, also, let me know what you guys would like to see. Do you want to see longer videos, shorter videos? Do you like the Let's Play videos I'm doing now when they're one hour, four hours, eight hours? Um, do you want to see any certain types of scenarios played? Just let me know. 
But yeah, that should wrap us up, guys. If you have any questions, you want any other insights from me, let me know in the comments. And like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you like the channel. We're going to have plenty of content. And I'll catch you guys in the ne next one. Take care.